Let's just pray in the spirit. I have a few, just a few words to speak. I hope it's really few. Yes, my time. Okay, let's just pray in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. There's already a river flowing here. It's been flowing, but I know it's going to get more intense as we continue. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Libra si kepeto shi tatai. Nekoria si kapara di asutata bashatata. Ke libra du si atali breko si ati libra da shataya. Lord, we connect. We connect to the flowing river. We connect to the river of the Spirit flowing here tonight. Kabrushia tali bredo siya tatai. Makata li bredo si te blido satalanda. Kalaria disco baliande shetem bakos kebelie de santai. La koria ti seki li bradus kapalatande. Ikata tambra de zeto yatai. La koria satatai. Lord, we are here for empowerment. We are here. We are here to go deeper. Kabande siya tata. Oh, shala branda suatara. May your spirit brood over us, over us, over us, over us. Makande si le brado siya taka brinde zekete ya. Jede breke sote ile brado si kabarande asita ya. Jekete brado sa kapapa rakapaliene sete ya. For you will be mistaken if you think only beings, only human beings are in this place. For we have spiritual entities, we have we have angels stationed all around this place. Makate sute la katisi kete ni bradosi atata la kabrindo zioti ili brandosi a kabrinde kete la brada shata ya makate si ili bradosi ata kabrinde zekete la brada shata makate suete ili bradosi kapapapandia si le brekete ya makanda sute ili branda si atata ya makadi. Siya tata, makata si keti le bredo siya tata ya. Manga di esu de ya si la brakas kabala. Lord, we connect, we connect, we connect, we connect to the flow of your spirit. We connect, we connect with what you're doing in heaven. We connect, we connect with the throne room. Kabendo si le brada saka papa anta ile brakite kosi kapadi ande su tata ya. Aka ba 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 ba. There's a fire of intercession that must come upon us, we women, today, even the men. There's a spirit of the lioness to, 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 to take back what the lion has stolen, to take back with a roar. If you are a lady here, you're a woman, I want you to put your right hand on your womb because there's a burden that must happen. There's a fire that must come to redeem the next generation. Can you just open your mouth and begin to cry out to the Lord? If you know you have failed in those responsibilities, begin to repent and say, Lord, I take back my responsibility as a nurturer, as a gateway. Kalato Sata. I lend you my womb for your purposes. I lend you my womb. Rekepeton siya tatan de besuta shila prakasatatai. Rakapamba de sudia de kosika tataya. Rakapatan siya toshi tataya. Rakapate su tataya. We must recover the next generation. We must recover the next generation. Aye kosia tatani mana shatatai. We must have godly cartoons that can take over. Ah, the, the satanic cartoons all over the place. Uh, we must have godly schools uh, where the precepts of God is taught. Rekepende susi elibrano shia takam brada sata panda kabine no shia tataya meke do shia tana naya rekepende dia sata ro shia tataya. Oh Lord, we know it is not too late. Uh, yes, as long as there's life, uh, there's hope. Kambe no shi tende mi no shi kabra. Oh, I recover, I recover, I recover that which has been lost, I recover that which has been lost, I recover my seed, I recover my seed. You want to pray at any point that the enemy took all over, that the enemy took over your seed and began to nurture him or her in his own way. You want to, you want to begin to, to remove, to remove, to uproot, uproot the plantings of Satan in the next generation. We uproot in the name of Jesus. We uproot in the name of Jesus. 
Rakasa, Ikenia Masuse Tejila Prakasko Palataya, Rakapadia Sata. Why is it that in the churches uh, you only meet the old people? Old people everywhere. Their time is up. Who is going to rise again? Who is going to be that preacher? Who is going to be that evangelist? Who, who, who? Rakapani and the Sete Librakadia Shatataya, Rakapata Sikatolia Tataya. Lord, release power. Release power on your women right now. Release power to bet, to bet spiritual things from the realm of the spirit, to bet that which is upon your heart. Rakapate Suta Chila Brakas Kabari and the Seteya, Rakapanto Usia Teprinde Kedia, the Rabba Sundaya, Rakapata Satata, Rakapanya Sadaraba Satata. Some of you, God is calling you to the youth ministry. Do not reject it. God is calling you. God is calling you. God is calling you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
children in the United Kingdom. We say no to the works of darkness. Make it to seek a part. Rekete bredo shiatata. Jete breko satatata. Yeke braka baba baba. Raka baba 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 baba. Yes, Lord. Release that fire. Release that fire. I see a woman here. You've been crying to the Lord. You lost your voice. You lost your voice in the spirit. You used to pray so, so much. But you lost your voice. You fell into sin and you lost your voice. You've been pleading to the Lord for help to, to forgive you. I hear right now that you are forgiven. He said, I forgive you and I, re and I, re I give you back your voice. It's a roaring lioness voice. It's a roaring lioness voice. Lord, release that voice. Release it. Release. Release the fire of the lioness. Release the fire of the lioness. The lioness cannot see. They, 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 he cannot see the enemy take his, his, his children and sit down there. But there will be redemption. Thank you, Lord. Release your fire. 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 All over this room. Release your fire. 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 Calibre set up. Yes, Lord. Move. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There's a recovery tonight. Thank you, Lord. There's a recovery tonight. There's an awakening in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. 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 There's someone here you lost. I don't know, because of what you went through, your childhood, your mother was not really there to kind of protect you and all kinds of things began to happen to you. It even resulted to rape and all kinds of molestation. And, and now you're grown, you still have those marks. They still, they still, your, your heart is not being healed from the past. And, and any time a relationship wants to come up, there's this fear that makes you stand back. Oh, Jesus, there's a healing power released here. There's a healing power released here. It's released here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heal that heart. Heal that heart. Heal the hearts of your women. So when many women are bruised, in the spirit, I see so many wounds, so many wounds. But the Lord is healing, is bringing healing right now. It's bringing healing, it's bringing healing. Just let it out. Just let it out. Just let it out. He's bringing healing, healing. Healing rain is here. Healing rain is here. I remember when Apostle, you know, stated when, when he, he was working in Lagos and I had to stay back in Makodi. It wasn't an easy task. At first, I cried and cried and cried. I prayed and prayed. He'll be brought back. He'll be, you know, sent back. <laughs> back to Makodi. It never happened. First year, we cried. We prayed. It didn't happen. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. At that point, I said, <clears throat> I think, I don't know when this is going to happen. But the demons did not wait. Immediately, Apostle left. They started showing up. Because he will hit here and hit there and hit there. And the demons come back home. It's like telling him, we know, we know where your family is. It's just a matter of time. Once we get them, you stop this. And so, at first, happy you got married to a pastor. Oh, I was flexing. But the moment he left, I was faced with reality, spiritual realities. Yes. All kinds of demons that are showing up. One day I felt, okay, I could pray. So I'm going to pray for three days. And I'm going to pray and all these witches will disappear from here. And I started praying. I said, yes, Lord, I come against every witchcraft activity. I destroy, I disband, I dis everything. On the third day, I felt I had prayed enough and I went to sleep. That same day in the night. A lady, a young lady of about 10 years old, walked through the wall. And she said, we are warning you. 
I was sent, she called the name of the woman, I was sent by Mrs. So-so and so. And if you don't stop these prayers, you will see what will happen to you. And she just turned and walked. I started fretting. I said, what was that? Immediately I called my husband. I said, there's a problem. There's a real problem. I don't understand. This girl just showed up and this was what happened. He said, oh, more gay. What have you been doing? I said, uh, you taught us how to pray. I've just been praying. I've been casting out demons and witches from my environment. He said, for how long? I said, for, for three days. Hey, it's three days, beans. No. And then he said, this one. He said, at least 21 days. He said, you just woke them up. He said, if you're not ready for a battle, don't even start. And that is when I knew that, oh, I'm in for a great ride. And I started praying. After that, I started learning what it meant, you know, how to pray, how to stay in the place of prayer. If I didn't do that, my seed would have been devoured. Yes, it would have been devoured. Posterity. God is interested in posterity. He's interested in the next generation. And that is why he gave me, you know, this vision of a school when I was still in the university. And then he says, you're going to have some, a school someday. I just saw that school. I was like, a school? What's that? I didn't read education. I don't know. A school. I wasn't even thinking about it. But it was here like a seed. I said, it must be for some reason. And as time went on, I held on to it. I wrote it down. I held on to it. Believing God that one day I'll have a school, as you said. And then I got married. I, tell, I told my husband, this is what he said. Okay, okay. Until one of those days, he just woke up from the blues. I said, that school, we are starting to build it. I was like, wow. God began to speak to me. He said, redeeming the next generation for kingdom advancement. That is what should be the mission and vision of your school. So it's not just about a school. Yes, yeah, business. You have business, fine. But that is not the core of why I'm calling you to do this. Is to redeem the next generation. Because the next generation is already lost. You have to start now. And so we started the school. You have to imbibe in them. Values, values are missing from our families. Godly values and principles, we no longer teach them to our children. He said, train up a child in the way he should go and then he will not depart from it when he grows up. It happened to Moses. Hallelujah. I don't want to go through all the scripture again, but it happened to Moses. And you see that his mother came into his life through his sister. He's still the woman that nurtured Moses right there in Egypt. Was, he had become Pharaoh's daughter's, you know, son. He was given the name Moses. She, as the mother, poured into him, you know, encoded into him the God that they serve. Encoded into him the culture. Encoded into him that at the end of the day, when, when, when Moses grew up, he still went back. Yeah. That's what you do. No matter how difficult it is, by prayer, it can be so. The woman is also an agency that brings the aroma of love in the family. The husband brings authority. The woman brings affection. So her tool to colonize the family is affection. You can't be a mother without affection, without love. When you have love and affection in your heart, you will see that the children will be, they will be tend, they will tend towards you. They will open up to you. They will be your friend. And when they begin to go through some certain things in their lives, it will be easy for them to talk to you. Many of us, we have deaf ears. We say, no, this child is too small. It's too small. No, ah, there's no child that is too small anymore. Satan is not waiting for your child to grow up before he begins to encode. Now is the time. It's two years old, bring them to church. It's three years, it's six months, it's eight months, bring them. Teach them the word. You have a baby. 
play audio Bible. Let it be. It's, it's going somewhere. It's entering somewhere. It's entering the spirit of that child. This is the time. We cannot wait any longer until they are big. If not, the way they should go, Satan will train them for you. And when they become the age of accountability, they will choose him. Yes, and then you'll be wondering that what have I been doing? I thought I did this. I thought, no, you were not deliberate. It is time to be deliberate about the next generation. Any church that doesn't have a children's section where you begin to teach them what you're teaching the adults, then we are joking. Yes, we are not ready for another generation. We will just, a, a generation will just arise that does not know God. That is what is happening in our time and our age.